I just leave in Kellier. Oh, really? I'm gonna run up the wash case and see if I can find a muddy heater. I'm a proponent of a statewide limit of four. Does your pickup have this? God, that drives me nuts. Automatic shut off. Came up where we are. Now look at him, Navy. As a guy that's never been to Red Lake before, I am amazed <laughs> at how many. It, it's like the fishing mecca of the world, in my opinion. There's 40 or 50 pickups parked along that road. Yeah, there's, there's a, yeah. I think I just took a video of that kid taking a leak next to his. <laughs> Super helpful is when you park right in the middle of the road. Like that guy? Yeah. Lord. So what's the stop from going out there and parking? Like, not the pain. Uh, nothing really. That's all there. Yeah. We sent us past the bar. He gives you a, a map on where to go park. Why not park here? Holy cow. I don't see the sign that says don't park an airstrip right here and it doesn't look like an airstrip. So, so that's the map they give you? Uh huh. What do you, you go, are you going two and a quarter miles is where the ice starts getting a little thin? Yeah, that's where the road stops. So 15 bucks to park out for a day. Uh huh. There's your map. <laughs> don't get lost. <laughs> Clayton does a really nice job. He's there. That's for people that can't, can't read. <laughs> or can't read. Oh, that's why they're, the four-wheelers are having trouble pulling their fish hoses up. Look at that, somebody's got a gator up here. I'll tell you what. So we're doing sheetrock up in this one's garage, and we drive his bridge for his gator out every day. He's got the whole heated cab, doors. There's people driving pickups and jeeps. They're insane. Yeah. I didn't think they could have a pickup out here. Yeah. Wait, no, there's a jeep headed that way. For the trailer. Yeah, I can see good with that red ginger glow. The whole horizon is littered. So that's the west road that way. Was this an ice ridge or what's going on here? Right over there is where the triple steak is. That means the ice is getting down to under four inches out there. So we're going west. So are we looking for structure out here? And there is none. It's like, like a big bowl. It's like you're fishing in a cereal bowl. Really? There's crappie cribs out here from years back. like looking out in the universe and seeing galaxies everywhere.
10 inch propane. How much ice do you think there is? Oh, you, you shovel snow to keep the wind from blowing through because we got probably what a 15 mile an hour wind. You can reuse a middle pressure ridge for you people that have never been out on a big lake where ice expands and has to go somewhere, the wind pushes it. I'm trying to find a tree somewhere to go to the bathroom, but I can't find one. Telling you there's something there. You hold them all. Yeah, there you go. Right. So that's a typical walleye here. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's a good eater. He's Are you gonna keep it? Must be putting in a road or smoothening a road or something. It's lunchtime. I don't know what everybody else is going to eat. But I had to come in the chalet and warm up. Where'd you go? He came up twice. There he is again. I think there's a walleye that wants to be on YouTube. Just catch it already. <laughs> He's a chaser, that's for sure. A little bit. That's what my kid would say. Just in a little bit. He caught one. Too bad he ain't local. Where are you going? <laughs> How can you get mad at a fish you've never met? Like this. You suck! <laughs> what real easy, you want me to show you? <laughs> right here. Oh, down there. So I'm the one moving, and he's oh. the one below me. Gone. It's because your minnow's bigger than he is. Could be. Probably not, though. The walleye wouldn't eat that. That's pretty fussy. The walleye's up here. It's gotta veg be a female. Vegetarian. <laughs> you were trying to catch an eel pound? Something. That, it absolutely is a sheep's head. Yeah, pretty good size for whatever it is. Oh, the big walleye! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, there's one. There was way up I high. I touched the wall. I mean your way. I mean your way. You see me lose it right after you got it up the hole? Yeah. <laughs> You're not keeping that, are you? That little... That'll eat. That'll eat. There's your one you get to keep over 17. Yeah! Is there no more sheep's head in here? Seems to be. Are you going to catch this one or are you just going to mess around with it? It doesn't look like he wants to play very well. So. Oh. I don't know why he didn't chain up. I don't think he's going to go by the ramp at all. Oh, it is going. He got it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you betcha. Yeah, that's a good one. Turn them little runs you catch. Yeah, I was just saying, cool, I got it. That'd be a hell of a fish next year, Grant. He came in hot too, Minnie. Oh yeah, he hammered it. Speeding time. What's that guy doing? I don't know, let me, uh... 
film your two dogs a... Oh, it's spinning out. Did you see that? I never seen a dog spin out. Trying to break the ice, Pino. Yeah, I missed him the first time. And I had to... He got his warning shot. I dropped him back down. Are you gonna do the slow pull away like Grant said? He watched something on YouTube on how to do this. Oh, I think somebody lost one. Just uh, tried to set the hook on a couple of them. Didn't work. That's okay, honey. It happens to all of us. <laughs> Try to keep your swearing to a minimum. Unlike your kid. Dean tells me it's 24 miles across this lake. And it's getting late on a Sunday afternoon. It's like 2.30. And it is definitely clearing out. There's a lot less people here. Of course, they probably all limited out. They're just gone. Not yet. <laughs> Ooh, that stinks. Thanks. Through the bed. That's probably the biggest perch I've ever caught. Uh, it's, on, it's on the cusp. Dean's trying to sweet talk a, a Walter. Maybe there's not enough light to focus, but I was trying to find the tree line over there. Matthew's first walleye. You got it? Yeah. Hey. Good boy. Not a monster. I don't even know if we keep it. Congratulations. There we go. Touched one in the flesh. You got a, a, that trough or anything handy? Oh, yeah, I gotta measure it. <laughs> I forget that he's jigging blind. Cause 12 and a half? <laughs> 12 and a half. Check out that sunset. The lighting around the lake is really cool. Check that out. <laughs> it's kind of glowing over there too. That is really cool. I think that person there has been smelling his own fumes way too much. Look at that, a fish house giving birth to a ginger. <laughs> Look at the loins on that one. <laughs> Hey, nine more days.
days and the days start getting longer again. This guy lost his sled as he was heading in. But he realized it. Why is there flashing lights over there? That's the entry point. Find your way back to shore. He's in there somewhere. Packing up. Calling her day. Look at that fish house just gave birth to a superhero. Hang it right at the intersection. Supposed to head towards flashing lights. Oh man, the nose of that was just about on the ground. You don't realize how far out there you are until you drive for, I don't know, when you go in five, ten minutes, and we're still a ways from shore. That's an airstrip over there. He's trying to avoid this rock and a mailbox. Oh, there goes the front bumper. <laughs> it's kind of interesting how they'll for you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Signing off already. <laughs> well, you gotta, you gotta get the shot before it gets dark. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.